theater or the eastern theater the uh, north in the north there there are troops operating in the north they were also engaged in operation so we had to feed them actually we had to provide the logistic support for them so one of the strategy of the ltt was to stop that logistic logistic support uh, mainly from the trincomalee hub it is the very strategic location the trincomalee hub from there we uh, carry out this logistic movement on board our logistic ships and uh, uh, protection was given by the fast attack crafts and the other naval craft so they were trying their level best to disrupt this movement uh, to uh, disrupt the movement or to uh, stop the movement of the troops from the northern front or the northern theater so we were uh, continuously we are fighting with the terrorists the ltt sea tigers out at sea and we were able to uh, continue that movement and give the required support to the other forces to go ahead with uh, their uh, whatever the operations and the other thing is the harbors are very important it's a uh, economical target if you uh, destroy the harbors our economy is going to be affected very much so they were targeting our harbors so navy was protecting the harbors using the small boats and the special harbor defense units and whatever the research and development methods to uh, get uh, systems suitable for our situation right the underwater threat to counter the un underwater threat that type of thing so using our technology whatever the available resources they navy was protecting the harbors also in Key that phrase way. that you used couple of times was whatever the available resources and yes. you said limited resources so can you elaborate on how you used limited resources and why you say so yeah if if you take the uh, movement to the uh, 2000 kilometers away from the land so our ships what wh whatever the ships we have is not meant i mean it's not uh, suitable very much suitable to go that far away from the country these are the basically these are the offshore petrol vessel which can operate in between two, uh, 200 to uh, 300 nautical miles away from the coast but we went up to 3000 kilometers away from the land so that is you all took the risk in the process yes of course we took the risk that is the area where the bigger navies operate the blue water navies uh, are operated there so basically what you are saying is maybe even without equipment and the ships yes. that requires the basic standard you still took the risk and went yeah. but in a process like that there would have been uh, the risk of the ship sinking and uh, other natural um, calamities that can happen in the deep sea so what were the precautionary methods that was taken because i think sinking a ship would have been a uh, really crucial if uh, yeah, you know, yes. patients like that yes you are correct but in this particular instance the uh, professional training you got the professional training you got and the uh, your motivation to do and to uh, achieve your aim that comes first and uh, uh, with the help of those things and with the training with professional knowledge and with limited limited resources we we were able to uh, took those targets that is for the uh, going away from the seas and for the harbor protection also we had the underwater threat but the equipment which need to detect those uh, underwater threat and the uh, suicidal divers will be uh, much more costly which cannot be uh, uh, which cannot be offered by our uh, economy so in that case also we used to uh, get the available resources and uh, we we were continuing to protect protect our harbors that part is there again oh. Okay, so that is an uh, overview, but we will come back to you, Captain Senarat. Going, uh, moving on to Group Captain uh, Janaka Nanakara about the Air Force. So, what are the strategies that was actually implemented in your role of contributing to the war, the role of the Air Force? Well, Deepa Mala, it's like this. Now, Air Force, the Air Force being uh, the ele military element that has the capacity to envelop all three dimensions of the land, air, and the sea. Uh, being the uh, conventional air force the first uh, role it needs to play in this type of scenario is destroying the enemy's will to fight that is taking on the enemy far beyond its lines behind its lines where you go and hit its leadership uh, then destroy its physical assets and make sure that you keep on hitting him hard and as frequently as possible so this this was one of the roles then uh, th the next one was supporting the ground forces and the maritime forces in their respective operations in this case it was uh, providing of uh, close air support that is when the uh, ground forces were moving forward 
we needed to provide them with firepower to ensure that resistance that they were facing was neutralized. Both the uh, ground forces as well as the maritime forces, that is the Navy when they requested for. Then of course another very important role that we, the Air Force played was surveillance and reconnaissance. Because uh, I would say in comparison to the past instances where we engaged the same enemy, during the humanitarian operations, the Sri Lanka Air Force employed the technology of unmanned aerial vehicles and also the beach craft to provide uh, live, full, uh, live coverage of uh, real-time coverage of the ground situation or maybe uh, the maritime situation that existed so that the um, strategy thinkers at the, in the headquarters as well as the commanders on the lines could take, make their decisions by seeing what was in front of them and whatever impediments that they were facing for their troops or their forces to move forward. Then of course another role that it, the Air Force played was the logistics role to see that the men and the material needed for the front was moved in as fast as possible. Of course uh, not in the volumes that the Navy was doing it but what was immediately needed was moved forward and also uh, with the closure of the A9 uh, some time ago, if we maintained an air bridge using our uh, the number two squadron, the heavy transports and quite a lot of uh, men and material as well as civilian requirements, urgent things were met through this. Then of course uh, another uh, role that the Air Force played which is uh, not spoken of much is the evacuation of casualties from the front because every life mattered and that mattered for morale and the motivation of the fighting uh, soldier which obviously the general will agree with me because uh, our um, helicopters stood by 24 hours night and day come bad weather or good weather they were available to see that the men were brought back to receive the required medication. Okay on that note group captain we will just take a small break and we will be back with you soon stay with us.